Hello and welcome to another episode of AI Buzz. Thanks so much for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to discuss three situations where you might want to consider getting a laptop for machine learning in 2021. I'm also going to recommend some laptops that have some good specs that you might want to look at for machine learning and some light deep learning. The first reason you might want to consider a laptop for doing machine learning is that machine learning hardware is becoming a lot more accessible within a laptop form factor. Years ago, even getting remotely decent hardware within a laptop was pretty much impossible. That's really no longer the case where companies are fitting really incredible GPUs within laptops. The one caveat here I would say is that if you're planning to do hardcore deep learning, definitely consider getting a desktop workstation. You're going to be able to fit a lot beefier components into there. You're going to be able to get better cooling. You're going to be able to get a full size GPU rather than just the laptop version. Uh, and you're going to get all this stuff at a much better price. For training large models, I also really like having a desktop too, because you can kind of set it and let it crank for a day or a weekend and not really have to worry about a laptop getting unplugged, running out of power. A desktop workstation is just a lot more permanent. That being said, especially the most recent laptops are getting really, really powerful and you can still do some modest deep learning on them. The main difference between a $1,200 laptop and a $3,000 desktop workstation is going to be the time that it takes to train a model. The laptop could likely still train that same model, assuming that it fits within memory, but it's just going to take a lot longer because it has inferior hardware. The second reason is that a lot of companies are moving to the cloud for machine learning. Laptops are still great for kind of local development, experimentation, training small to medium sized models that maybe take a night or a day of computation. However, in the data centric world that we're living in, real world problems have so much data, gigabytes if not terabytes of data to crank through, and even beastly workstations are going to really take forever to process this if they can at all. And that's really why cloud computing and cloud machine learning is becoming so appealing. Uh, so a new approach that I've kind of started to wrap my head around more is trying to do local development uh, just to, as kind of a proof of concept, but then look more at the cloud to actually scale things out. Whether you choose Google Cloud, AWS, Microsoft Azure, any of these cloud services, you're going to be able to scale out very readily and scale that concept that you had working locally to any number of machines that you want. Depending on your use case, it could be a better use of that cash to splurge on a laptop and then spend the remaining amount of money on credits in the cloud for your big computations. This also helps you broaden your horizons beyond a programming language like Python. You might want to start learning something like Spark, something distributed that's going to allow you to scale very easily. These technologies could also get you in the door with some of the latest tech companies. The choice of a laptop is also great for someone like a student who wants to be able to bring it to class, take notes, maybe do other course related activities on it, but also be able to train small to medium sized models. Once graduated, it's very likely that companies are going to want to start you working in the cloud so they can scale to their full data sets. So having a laptop where you're not maybe going to have the latest and greatest hardware, but you're really portable could be a big benefit. A couple of the specs that you're going to want to look out for are a graphics card as well as RAM. Gaming laptops will usually set you up with a really good graphics card. However, the RAM is something that sometimes they will skimp on. Uh, RAM is extremely important to be able to hold the full model within memory. One of the benefits with laptops is usually they have a slot where you can upgrade RAM yourself, even if it doesn't come with something like 16 gigabytes of RAM. Usually if you pick a laptop with a really good graphics card, They'll set you up with a, a processor or CPU that's pretty much on par with that. They won't drastically bottleneck you with the CPU. A couple laptops that really stuck out as being good candidates for machine learning are ones that have graphics cards and RAM, like I said. Uh, for a lower budget, it looked like the Acer Nitro it gives you 16 gigabytes of RAM with a 2060 NVIDIA chip. These are some pretty respectable specs for that price point. Going up to the next level, if you have a higher budget and you want maybe beefier specs for this, you can get up to 64 gigabytes of RAM and also a 3060 NVIDIA chip. You're gonna be able to learn a lot about the CUDA libraries that NVIDIA has, and you're gonna be able to train a lot of stuff on this machine. And that's the CU GF75. This is by MSI. Uh, it's just under $2,000. It has a lot of desktop grade parts in it. 
And I don't think you're going to have to sacrifice that much in terms of models that you can train uh, compared to like a full desktop workstation. Once again, I'll say that uh, if you're planning on training these really heavy deep learning models, do not buy a laptop. You're going to want something that has really good cooling. Uh, you want your components really spread out so you can overclock them as well. You're going to want to build a desktop workstation. If you're, if you're trying to win a Kaggle competition or uh, train a, a huge model, but you don't want to play, pay for cloud credits, then you're going to want a desktop. But laptops will give you the portability and can have ample performance too. If you're at all interested in some of the products that I discussed, links are in the description below. That's about all I have for you today. Let me know in the comment section what you think or if you have any questions about potential machines or laptops that you might want to buy for your use case. Let me know. I'll be happy to help you out. Uh, that's about all I have. Have a good day. Bye.